continuing our conversation now with Stanton Friedman and Phil Klass. Uh, Mr. Friedman, help me again. Uh, one thing, I mean, uh, was it the hieroglyphics that you're most impressed with, that five people come back with, with similar hieroglyph uh, hieroglyphics? No, what, what's most impressive, Ted, is the similarity of evidence from around the world from so many people whose testimony you'd accept on anything else. Uh, that's what's so impressive. We're like not dealing what? with what, one case or ten cases. What testimony are we talking about? We're talking about, for example, the description of a pilot with another pilot behind him in another plane, watching an object moving across in front of him with a guy on the ground watching them, watching the object move at what he estimates at 1,000 miles an hour in three seconds, reverse his speed, go in a short distance in the sky, and do it again and again. What, that kind of case occurs all the time. There's an enormous Nonsense. volume of data that the skeptics refuse to consider. Mr. Class, for example, in three books, doesn't even mention the largest study ever done about flying saucers because the data in it clearly contradict the pronouncements that he makes. I'll tell you what, make it easy on me again, Mr. Klass. Uh, the, the object that was moving at an apparent speed of 1,000 miles an hour Ted, versus... Ted, I cannot identify it off the top of my head. All I can say is that in your seven-minute intro here, there were any number of those cases that have been explained several... Several of the photos were hoaxes. Okay, but before we run out of time here, what we're dealing with, and again, that's why the public, I think, gloms onto this as much as it does. Uh, here we have a couple of pilots. I mean, these are experienced observers, especially about things like that. Doesn't, uh, doesn't that cause you to wonder just a little no, bit? No, it doesn't, because the late Dr. J. Allen Hynek did an analysis of pilot reports in the Air Force files and found that in terms of misidentifying prosaic objects like stars and balloons, that pilots, military and airline pilots, were no better than ordinary civilians. Being a pilot does not improve your powers of perception. All right, L let me just ask one last question, Mr. Friedman. In your convention here this week, <laughs> w what is it you're seeking to do most of all? I mean, just we're exchange We're seeking to uh, exchange, exchange stories? information, present new information, I'll be dealing with, for example, considerable evidence that uh, one of the people on that uh, Majestic 12 panel, who shouldn't have been there, he was a skeptic, turns out to have been connected on the inside with major intelligence agencies in ways that nobody knew before, which make his appearance on that panel uh, quite sensible rather than the ridiculous notion it seemed at first blush. We'll be covering the latest word from around the world on sightings and on abductions in particular and looking at the, the scientific evidence dealing with flying saucers, and there's a great deal of it. All right, before we drop the subject altogether, and, and we're going over a couple of minutes, Mr. Class, just tell me about abductions. Uh, I mean, of all the things that are being discussed here, those really seem the most bizarre, don't they? Well, Ted, I'm writing a book on this subject. It's already uh, two-thirds the way through. It'll be completed shortly, be published early next year. Just give me the conclusions, the if you The conclusion were to... is, to quote President FDR, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. Anyone who doesn't want to be abducted, who doesn't go I'm here, I'll predict that you'll get 50 volunteers. They love to talk about themselves. Whitley Stryber, the most uh, famous one, m became a millionaire by writing a book about his alleged abductions. They're all fantasies. Mr. Friedman, a final comment from you, and then we're going to wrap it up. I think it's time we look via pronouncements and psychic understanding that Phil seems to show uh, to explain away the data that he doesn't want to deal with. There is an enormous amount of information. Those who wish to reach an opinion on it should look at the information relevant to the problem and find it in Mr. Class's book. Gentlemen, I thank you both.